Hey everybody, Corey here from AchievementsForGamers.com and we're showing you part 2 of the walkthrough on Saul and also all the achievements. You're going to be right here if you left off on our old video. They want you to choose the pipe, but I found it's a lot easier if you don't choose the pipe because when you swing the pipe it's a lot slower and you'll get hit. Uh, to do attacks, just hold left trigger, X for heavy attacks, A for light. You just want to punch him with light attacks and try to move away when he swings at you. And then he's down on the ground, and if you hit L and X, you'll curb stomp him, I guess that's what it is. But I didn't do that, I just punched him in the face, and then we got, it was an accident for 10 gamer score. We'll show you what that is in a few minutes. And you'll get a cutscene. And he died. Shotgun to the head. And that's also showing you that there's more doors like that further in the game. Check his body for the key. And then you can pick up the pipe now if you want to. You don't have to, but come in the room he was in. And if you come over here, you'll find a note and you can read it. And that's why they're all after you. And you'll get who is the Jigsaw Killer. For 15 Gamer Score, we'll show you the one we just got. Which was kill first minion, which was that guy. It was an accident. And then who is the Jigsaw Killer. Find your first patient file. We're going to head through this door that, uh, be that was behind us. That door was sealed. You're going to need the key for this one. Right here, if you hold X and use the thing, you'll get just experimenting. And that was the health hypo that you picked up. Use health syringe for the first time. That's 10 gamer score. Like I said, you get achievements in here like crazy. But I just head through this door. And we step on some glass. So the health is low again. Uh, it says about shotgun doors. It's showing you how to trigger them. Which we're about to do in a few seconds. After you read this. Make sure you see it. You have enough time to see it first and then hit it. So don't like just try to rush real quick. Take that extra second to actually get the right button. And don't just hit random buttons that you think will be there. Or your head will explode. But there's nothing in this room. Uh, but if you come over to this door. The other door says you need a nail to pick it. But if you come in here you got a cutscene. And now you know there's a key inside of you. Uh, search right here and you'll get the nail. It's in the cart. And over here's a note that you can read. Again, you don't really have to read the notes, but I just read them. That way I know what's going on. And they put them there, so you might as well read them. Then there's nothing there, so you want to go back out. And go to this door over here that you need to pick. Now lock picking is kind of confusing. I'll show you here in a second after I read it. All right, what you have to do is you have to line them up like a puzzle, match the two, and here I go and I mess it up, but I'm just gonna show you what you have to do real quick. See, make the uh, screws match, the yellow things, and so on. But then I realized I messed up, so I took a few seconds to think about it. Now, this will be different each time. So I, I can't really tell you how to do it. But I just take a few seconds to think about it. It's not that difficult if you actually think about it. But uh, I just go here. And then we'll change the last one. The hardest part is getting over there. And we'll unlock it and we'll get forced entry for 10 gamer score, which is unlocked first door. Now, if the door opens outward, you don't have to worry about the shotguns. So, run over here. And then this door over here is locked, but that's where we're going to try to go later on. It's what we're working up for. 
come over here and come to this room and you can get an audio tape. Again, just pick up the audio tapes that you see. Um, it'll just tell you about more about the story line, which is cool. But just come through here. Then we're going to show you this thing because I think it's cool. Uh, and then just walk past it. You want to? You can come over here, but there's nothing in here. I was looking around. Nothing. So just leave. Again, I'm looking around everywhere to see if I missed anything when I went through it the first time. But as of now, I haven't found anything that I missed, so I'm pretty good. Right there, trigger, uh, it's a shotgun. Make sure you untrigger it by hitting the right uh, button. Now you come over here, you need to find the fuse. And right here, it talks about a breakable wall. So just beat it with the pipe that you have, left trigger, X, and just keep hitting it. And then you can slide through it, squeeze through it, and then that door is locked. But if you check in this filing cabinet, you'll get the fuse, and then uh, we'll show you that the door is locked right there. Just squeeze through here, and then put it on the fu in the fuse box thing, or the fuse thing. And then that door will open. Now, there's four bodies, and you have to find the one with the key, as he's telling you right now. And you can run around and read the names. This is the guy you have to cut. I'm pretty sure it's the right guy, but uh, we're going to show you all the names. Um, it's On both times, it's been the same person, so it might be the same person for you. But, and it says, like, you'll be uh, sorry if you, cut, if you cut open the wrong person. They are alive. The other people are alive. But nothing really happened to me. Detective but it says the right body. And then right here, just move towards the key and then hit grab. And then you got the key. Then you'll get a cutscene. Then we're gonna, this door's gonna open. There's nothing else really in that room. But uh, come over here, and then you have to uh, unbolt the door. Open it up. Again, if it opens outwards, there's nothing you have to untrigger. And right here, you can see this is where we just were. We went in a big circle, well, square. And then come over here. And we'll open this big door. Then you'll get a cutscene when you walk through. This guy will run at you and die because he can't go across the balance beam. And then it tells you how to balance. Again, there's nothing over here, but it doesn't hurt to check. Now, this is so funny how he bounces. He bounces so weird. But now we're... Uh, we come over here. Can you rescue her? And right here, there's a big freedom. Freedom is an illusion. Check back at achievementsforgamers.com for more videos.